Hiya folks, how's it going? I'm Lexi and I really like tabletop role-playing games. So much so that I started The Gaming Table, a channel where we get together once a week, every week, to discuss and review a different tabletop role-playing game. If that sounds interesting to you, I encourage you to hit subscribe and keep watching today's video. I'm really hoping I can finish recording this video because it is storm season where I am and there's a storm going on right now and I'm just hoping it's not too loud to record. This also may be the last time you see this particular backdrop. I'm about to move house because the rental I was staying in has been sold and the owners want to live in it. A bit frustrating, but what can you do? Fingers crossed Next Place has just as good of a spot for me to film. With all that aside, let's talk about today's game. I was reached out to by a creator asking if I would be able to not only review one game, but a few of theirs. So I'm going to sort of pepper them in into my schedule. So it's not the same creator back to back, but I'm really excited to talk about them and I'm so glad that I got to see all these games and I'm so excited for the future reviews. If you've made a game and you would like to see it on the gaming table, you can reach out to me using the contact details that I've popped in the description box below. I do have a bit of a delay in between receiving games and getting the reviews out, possibly because I do these reviews for free, but if you're interested in having your game appear here, please let me know. I'd at least love to see if it's possible. Let's just dive into today's game. From Caradoc Games, this is Prisoners of the Elf King. Prisoners of the Elf King follows a group of dwarves. You are on an epic quest that has just hit a huge snag. Your wizard promised a shortcut through the elvish forest, and instead of a shortcut, you encountered poisonous spiders, and even worse, elves. Now you've been captured by the Elf King's guards and you're stuck in their dungeon while those annoying elves are off partying. The burglar of your group has promised he has a way out for you. To get in barrels and float down the river. As a group you have decided this is highly undignified and you are going to be masters of your own destiny and make your own escape. If this setup and premise sounds familiar it is because it is from one of the most iconic sequences in a fantasy novel. I'm not going to say which one, but I think you know. This game is pretty simple. To play you need some d6s, d4s, character sheets and a party sheet. For most actions your dwarf is going to roll to do a deed. Choose from an appropriate skill and try to roll as many successes as possible. This is actually a 1 to 3 on the die. The dice pool that's built from skills is made up from the number of skill points a dwarf will have in a particular attribute or skill. If the dice results are not kind to your dwarf you may choose for them to dig deep. This would allow them to roll some additional d4s to try get an extra success or two to push things over the edge. The game master, known in this game as the dwarf master, assigns a number of successes needed to overcome a particular challenge. Digging deep can be helpful, but it can lead to you ticking the boxes on the party sheet, labelled drums of the deep. When all the boxes are filled, something not fantastic is going to happen. Dwarves can also make fortune rolls, take on damage, and try to assist their dwarven friends. Each dwarven character has three skill pools, cunning, might, and speed. They also get a threshold for how much hurt they can take before it is all over Red Rover. Lastly, each dwarf gets assigned a passion, which could help them or it could distract them from the task at hand. The party sheet is quite interesting as it has several boxes that you tick off to kind of track the pacing of the game and roughly where you might want to be at. While trying to escape the dwarves could run into a series of challenges. It's a pretty fun little game to play and there's just as much excitement in seeing what goes wrong with what goes right. I was pretty surprised because this game is much more replayable than I initially thought. For such a short manual and such an exact setup, I thought it was kind of going to be stuck in one path, but I can see lots of ways the story can change and how differently a game could go. The success is definitely not guaranteed in this game and the problems could arise from your adversaries but also the dwarves themselves. 
I have to briefly mention and praise the art, which I found so fun, particularly the depictions of the elves who seem to sneer at you from the page. For fans of the great fantasy novel, I think this setup is going to be an absolute draw-in. If you enjoy fast-paced action and potential slapstick comedy, I think this game also has a lot for you too. If you don't happen to enjoy humour in your tabletop games, then perhaps this isn't going to be your cup of tea. This little game is only $8, and for the amount of replayability and possibilities I saw in it, I think that's a steal. I found this zine to be incredibly charming. I do have a soft spot for zine games, as I love the amount of creativity that is put into a smaller product. Often they're incredibly creative in ways I didn't expect. But what did you think of Prisoners of the Elf King? Are you familiar with the story it alludes to? Do you think this is a game you would be keen to pick up? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. While you're there, I encourage you to hit subscribe and turn on notifications so YouTube tells you when I've next uploaded. Potentially, you could even like and share this video with a friend or someone you think would find it interesting. It all really helps this channel fight against YouTube's drudgery and make its way through the algorithm. I am so looking forward to reviewing and presenting to you all the other games I've received from Caradoc Games, so please keep your eye out. For the moment, I am sadly going to probably switch off my camera, back up my files, and possibly start packing my books away to move. I do have a Ko-Fi page if you wish to donate to this channel to help fund what we do. I hope you're all well, and I look forward to seeing you, perhaps with a new backdrop, next time at the gaming table. Bye!